question of the day, how to get rid of blackberries. I had a ditch that was just completely full of blackberries and a bunch of other areas that have been taken over by blackberries. We're going to talk about how I got rid of them. Um, obviously, we're not going to talk about pesticides, or I should say herbicides. I don't want to mess with that. I figure if it's strong enough to kill blackberries, probably not good for me either. We're going to talk about some tools that I use. The first tool I actually used was a machete. These things are actually pretty cheap, about 25 bucks for a 20 plus inch blade. If you're decently coordinated, and especially if you have a lot of old cane growth, which I did, it worked great to start. I'll just demonstrate real quick. This is light work, but. So you can clear a lot of blackberries pretty quickly with a machete. Another option, and this is the one that I use mostly now that I've got it under control, uh, especially for first year growth, is just a plain weed whacker, but you have to put the uh, some of the thicker twine and the twisted stuff tends to work better. So uh, this kind of blackberry, where you're still in that first year growth and it's that soft, light green color, weed whacker will take that out nicely as long as you have that heavier twine on it. Let me show you. Again, light work. You can actually also use a hoe for some of that returning growth that happens. Uh, I did burn out a good section of blackberries and what you'll get the next year is something that looks like this. And uh, a hoe is good for just kind of grubbing it out. Let me show you. Hard to do with one hand, but you can kind of it's like digging it out with a shovel, which is really time consuming, but you can just kind of control it that way, especially if you're in an area maybe around some plants. I have a garden you know, area where I'm kind of planting in there, and you don't want to... It's left-handed. Let me switch here. All right, and then I have one more that I'm going to show you, so don't turn off the video. All right, so you can hack it out with a hoe. It works better if you have two hands. You kind of drag it across. If the hoe's a little bit sharper, even than this, I could sharpen it up a little bit more. It cuts nicely. All right, and the last solution, which is why I'm filming the video because I'm about to put it, put the head on my uh, head on my weed eater. As always, if you find the content helpful, subscribe. Links to more info in the description, and if you comment, I do answer those questions. So I have a Husqvarna 129 LK, which is basically just a lightweight uh, weed eater. I, I like it; it works nicely for what I'm doing. Um, but there's an attachment that goes with that that you can purchase that is, I think it's actually a brush cutter, maybe is what it's called, I'll link in the description if I can find it. And um, we can, we're, we're just going to attach this to my weed eater head. So basically, you have a one thing to loosen, I'm going to do it with one hand, just so you can kind of see. Because you're probably trying to decide, like I was, a hey, is it worth the extra? I don't know what the head costs, 100 bucks or something to do it. So, one of the nice things about it is I do all my weed eating and then I uh, swap it out for this brush cutter. It's just loosen, then you push this button down and pull, which I'll have to put the camera down and then I'll show it to you with it on and how it works and whatnot. Okay, so this is what it looks like on. One key point, if you do buy this, when I bought it, there was actually an error from the factory in the way they had set this up where it was off balance. So it was wobbling. If your weed eater is wobbling under speed, it means they did the same thing at the factory that they had done with mine. I called them up just to double check that that was the, a problem. They said yes, and so I, all I had to do was re-loosen it and attach it correctly. So just something to be aware of. If the technician has put it on incorrectly, it will wobble. All right, let's fire this thing up. Okay, I'm gonna try to get a little bit of good footage of it cutting, and uh, so bear with me. Okay, here's how it spins. Be careful, this will chop a leg off.
All right, again, if you like it, subscribe, comment with questions. I'll try to put some links in the description for you.